And you're welcome to that dose of a Friday edition here. As always, well, hmm, a piece of the cake that you want to take home with you. Finally, we're joined by a very, very interesting personality here for a Friday edition. It is Abbe Abimbola, famously known as Cracky Dawn. He has appeared in movie, television shows, and of course, a whole lot of commercials right here in um, Nigeria, of course, and around the world. The world. All right? <laughs> the, the, the entire world. Uh, Cracky Don started his career as a rap artist and later developed a passion for acting. Hmm. How and did you just develop this? Acting, no yeah. martial arts, acting, and everything. <laughs> Cracky Don, you are welcome into the studio here today, man. Good nice to see you. you guys. First off, I want to say the way you walked into the studio, I didn't know whether to run. Because of all that muscles and everything, you like, shooting. yeah. But hey, we're going to talk about your acting, your uh, martial arts, your involvement in Nigerian movie, and all of that. But what really interests me is what you said with the fact that you actually started out as a rap artist. Artist, yeah. Really? Yeah, tell us about that, man. Well, actually, you know, growing up, and you know, you have to discover yourself, mm -hmm. and at some point, you think what you're doing is right. Mm -hmm. Then I later discover this is not meant for me. So mm. because it's like we become these uh, superstars in our area, like you know, you sing in all kind of concerts like that, and people started hailing you. But at the end of the day, you don't have the money. So are you like, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> so the lack of money made you realize that rap well, this was is not, not meant for my thing. <laughs> Wow. So okay. I switched, and when I switched the game, I said to myself, Abbe, you can do this better. So, and I discovered myself, like, I can do acting much better than rapping mm. or singing on the street. And, you know, I started with this FLU My Course, as in English, it's an AGN um, director. Okay. So uh, I started with him, and my first project was uh, Heart Mending back okay. then. Okay. So from there, I discovered my, my, you know, more passion. Like, okay, I think English film is not paying that much as mm. far back as then. I'm talking as about 20 back. years. It was paper yeah. chase. 20 years ago. I'm talking about 20 years ago. So, oh, wow. you know, doing that, I'm like, I think I need to cross to this Yoruba movie industry mm. because, you know, Yoruba movie industry, it's like they're everywhere. Okay. Oh, so you say you actually, you actually were invested in the Yoruba uh, movie So you've literally scene. done it all. I mean, English, Nigerian, Yoruba, and then international. Now, tell me about that international one. Okay. That uh, accent. Nah. Can, can I hear a little bit of <laughs> Which one? That is that the Malaysian language? one. Malaysian, the Malaysian. Yeah. Apokaba. So it's real. You so can when actually I say Apokaba, you say bye bye. That is how are you? Okay. Bye bye. You say, bye. Wow, that's, that's smart of you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bye bye. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, hello. but it's what funny does... that you're saying bye bye when you're saying bye bye. It's not bye bye. I say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, that okay. is fine, fine. All right, so how long did it take you to learn these languages? Uh, I think about a few years, like two or three years, just as uh, much as I devoted my time for the Silat uh, mixed martial art. Mm. Because what I do is not, see, I don't do mixed martial art. Oh. I do Silat. Silat is different. Silat is Malaysian? Yeah, it's Malaysia cultural kind of fight. So it's like Brazilian capoeira. Only Thank you very much. Moment. Something like that. Yeah, I know, I know, Chinese, I know these they have this kung fu. So in Malaysia, <laughs> yes. we have. Silat. Okay. It's a cultural fight that when yeah. you want to do that, you don't do that to, to offend people. Oh. You only do that to defend yourself. Oh. And even okay. if we're going to fight or do anything, mm. we start with Ormat. All right, so oh, we're, so we're, we're taking a look at, the, at this clip here of you mm. uh, performing some Silat uh, um, art. <laughs> <laughs> now, how are you? Are, is there like a grade, grading system? And on that grading system, where are you uh, in, in this kind of uh, um, art? A black belt, brown belt, white belt, I don't know. What I don't really do that because, you mm. know, uh, if you went to that extent, that means you want to make it official. You want to become a professional okay. mixed so martial artist. So now this is just for the movies. Thank you so very it's much. strategic. For me, okay. it's just for the movie because okay. after getting to Malaysia and I want to feature in some of their movies, yeah. you know, they're like, sorry, Mr. Crack, you can't mm. be an actor in Malaysia if you don't know how to fight. Oh, uh, that's a prerequisite. Because okay. in Hollywood, we do drama. Mm. Yeah, it's all about drama. We talk, 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 talk. And over there, they're like, sorry, we know you featured in so many movies, but here it doesn't work like that. Is it like you have big mixed martial art background, or you know how to fight, or you know how to do this, oh. or you go and do extra? Okay. So and I'm like, me, extra. <laughs> <laughs> so being a Nigerian in Malaysia in their movie uh, industry, uh, how accepted are you? Not really easy. Like I said before, starting over there wasn't easy. Just like what I said now, I wasn't accepted as an actor. Mm. They're like, you have to go and do extras or you just, please, 
don't disturb, don't catch us. Catch us like disturb. Yeah. So I had to like, okay, I think the, the, the basic is you need to learn their language. You need to be, you yeah. must be able to communicate with them. Definitely. So I learned the language. Then I went for this Silat. Silat is not even where I live. Mm. You know, I live in KL. So I had to travel to Kampong. Mm. Kampong wow. is like, when well, we're talking about Ilori, I don't mm -hmm. know if you know Kwara State. Yeah, mm -hmm. very so well. I traveled all the way there. Instead of my six months of the learning course, I spent over a year. Wow. Because my Zifu, like, man, Abe, ever since we've been going out together, everybody that, you know, they always want to associate themselves with me. They mm. want to train with me because of the body. Like, mm. ah, we love his physique and he's very friendly. Mm. Things like that. So Indeed it took me are. a while. It's not easy. Though. Okay, so now you experience acting here in the Yoruba movie in, um, um, industry and then over there. However, you do have your production outfits. Now, mm -hmm. what is it that you felt was missing that you intend to Put into movie industry that mm. made you go to create yours. I mean, you're talking about Nollywood or outside. Yeah. No, everything, Nolly, the whole, everything, everything yeah. together. For me, if I had to contribute anything outside Nigeria, mm. I will only do little, less, because they are doing it great over there. Okay. Okay. But in Nollywood, I have got a lot to contribute. Okay, okay. Trust me, because of course we're doing good in the like, Nollywood movie industry now, and the likes of all these movies that are going to Netflix and yeah. things like that. You know, we have great filmmakers now, but then it still lack a lot of things because okay. when I watch some movies, I'm like, okay, this is not supposed to be done like this. Mm -hmm. So I think the action part of it is still the problem. The action part okay. of it. So that action part of it, you've got but a project now. What are you bringing? What are, what are you <laughs> what doing are you uh, that, that's going to be different from anything we've seen, from all the drama? Mind-blowing. Okay. okay. So Trust me. You've even the, the small budget movie that I have done... What's it called? It's Blackout. You've Blackout. never seen such a Nollywood movie industry mm. before. Trust me. Mm. Okay. So, so what Blackout is it about? about? Uh, Blackout is, is about... It's a Nepal situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we forgot jokes. <laughs> Blackout. Blackout. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, Nigeria. Uh, yeah, wake up, Nigeria. <laughs> Actually, Blackout is, uh, is, I think, is a story that inspired by the situation Nigerians are facing in terms Blackout. of electricity. Oh, yeah. oh so there you go. see? Yeah, because, you uh, as we are now, don't be surprised. Okay, I'm sure I you know, guys are... I know, be surprised. It's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, I know, I know. <laughs> So yeah. you guys are depending on something. Yes, actually. It's not so supposed it to happen. be like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. Why is it that Nigerians, we have to depend on generator for that yeah. matter? So in your movie, did you actually um, put out the solution to our problem? Definitely. Mm. Okay. It's not going to be solution to our problems because it's not everybody mm. that's going to accept it. But mm. then I just try my best, like, okay, this mm. is the root of our problem. So mm. if we want to proffer a solution to that, then... Is that, is that what we're looking at now? Is that, is that for Black Out? Actually, that is one of my featuring movies, okay. though. Okay, where you featured in. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah. for Black Out... Are you going to do any of this physical you know, acting, the stunts and everything? Love, I'm sure you've not seen the trailer. So you're fighting Nepal with yeah, Kung Fu. No, right? I, I wasn't even <laughs> doing that. <laughs> you know, we have this Shego Ariza in the movie. And, you know, uh, this is one of my uh, Iraq featuring movie, though. Iraqi? Really? Yeah, wow. You've that is wrong. not my... All this you're seeing is just my featuring movies over okay. there because I've done over 50 movies outside wow. Nigeria. Wow. Wow. So do you think that with you bringing that physical action into Nigerian movies is going to become a thing? Because, yes, you are correct. We do like that physicalness in our movies. It's all about drama and situations and this person married the wrong person. We, talk a lot. <laughs> we do talk a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's what Nollywood is ranked one of the biggest industries in the world when it comes to um, art. But the physical aspect of it is lacking. You are correct. Now, as a uh, guy who's into martial arts and stunts and all of that, do you think that this could be a big part or big addition to our form of uh, expression when it comes to movies? Definitely, it will. But I don't, I don't pray people get it right because uh, I'm sure we have a lot of filmmakers that got a lot of budget to do all these things. Because when you're talking about action film, it's not all about. We, we have a lot of choreographers in Nigeria. It's not all about just face me, I face you, punch me, I punch you. There are some things that you need to infuse. Some things you need to pull that will make it look real. Mm -hmm. You know, when you watch Blackout, the movie, mm -hmm. I use rigging, I use uh, pulling, I use a lot of things. Where was the which shot? I, uh, yeah, because those shots was not achieved in Nigeria. That's what I was, okay. So where was it? Where I was shot it? that in Asia okay. with I just my a, stunt team. I just had a crazy idea, and I'm going to ask the producers if I can move this little uh, uh, coffee table here. I want to see you do some... <laughs> Okay, I think I was asked about this. Uh, come on, come on, man. Lucky you're a man. You go and do yes. that with I'm me. I'm going to do it. You're okay. You're okay. You're I'm going to move this okay. away. I'm going to move this away. Okay, I'm and not going to do it. 
Winfrey is going to stand as you. Not as me. You act. So you, you do it. You, you stand you perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to. I'm going to. I knew this. I'm going to. Okay, put that in your pocket. Yeah, that's Okay, so I'm going to. I'm going to start a scenario. You kill my father. Put your pants into tights. My pants. No, just okay. ask. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. oh, just show him. <laughs> okay. show him. Now I'm here to kill you. <laughs> you won't kill me. You better get ready for me. Um, okay. At first. Whoa. Okay. So and then right. I do. That. Actually, we can do a little bit of that, that's India, that's India kind of movement. We can do a little bit of choreography. Really okay. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. It's like you face me. We want to fight. The, okay. the first thing I do is because you're a little bit taller than me. Yeah. I love what you're doing. Are you but, suggesting but that? You won't, you won't do that. You know, okay. when I come like this, uh -huh. you do the same thing to me. Okay. You punch, ta. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I accept that. <laughs> okay, so that when you do but that... That's beautiful. So if I'm in such a situation now and I'm being attacked, yeah. what do you suggest I do? Let's say it's an attack coming from behind. From behind. Yeah, what do okay. I do? Just just let me know what you want to do. I'm I want to like do that. I can pin you down, then you're gonna have your head with me. I can, can you're gonna snap it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so I um, you beautiful. know for things like you can actually go there. It looks like a dance. Yes, it yeah, does. You can do so is look. this for male and female, or is this just the... A female also routine. can. Can do yeah, the routine. Can you do that again? Okay. I, want to, I want to learn that. That was so smooth. One. If you can do this, I'll give you a lot of money. <laughs> I'll give you a lot of money. <laughs> no. And I'm I just saying you should teach you so I, that you hear. I will presenting. come with you. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm coming with you for classes. Please do start a class. What, what's it called again? My Thai? What? No. Uh, this is Silex. But I, I don't intend to do that because, like I told you before, I'm not a professional fighter. Okay. I do this for movie. If I thought I'm going to do something uh, like this, it's going to be for wow. movie. Well, yeah, Whitney, is not yeah. you have to take the rest <laughs> of the show. Take the rest of the show because I'm, I'm already, I'm already tired. That's what's up that way. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah.